Hello our friends, um, my name is Enrique and we have the privilege to have in this meeting for the topic of the September uh, to the brother Barton who is with us. He is member of the board in the Academy of, for Creating Enterprise and we'll, we'll analyze and discuss the topic of this month which is which is his um, borrowing money. Uh, welcome, Brother Barton. To thank you for being here with us today. Thank you. It's a privilege to be here. Thank you, Brother. Uh, we are going to um, analyze and first of all a question about um, how or when should we borrow money. Is the first question that uh, all the students and former students of the academy we should do. Um, well, well, thank you, brother. It's um, <clears throat> a good question, and it's answered in this little booklet called uh, "Duty to Prosper." Yes, uh, which is the basis for all of the discussions in the chapters each month, as you know. Yes. And what it says is that if we don't absolutely have to take out a loan, then we shouldn't. Don't do it. There are alternatives to taking out a loan. For example, we can save our money. And it takes a little longer, but we avoid all of the risk. I saw that in the, uh, when we were on a mission. We've, we've been on two missions, my wife and I, uh, that are welfare missions. <clears throat> and one of those was in Argentina. And uh, the grocery stores in Argentina are all owned by the Chinese people. Mm -hmm. And they have intergenerational family businesses in these, these grocery stores. And so the little Chinese boys, they grow up in the grocery stores knowing how to stock the shelves and how to bring in the produce and how to do the cash register and eventually, how to look after the finances. And by the time they get to 25 years of age, they have 20 years of experience in the business. And they go to uh, one of the older members of the family, perhaps the grandpa. And he says, he says we want to go, I want to go out and establish my own grocery store. Yes. And I have been saving money for 20 years, but I don't have quite enough. Can you help me and make it be a partner for a while in my business? That's an alternative to going and borrowing and getting in debt to have a partner. Sometimes we can uh, borrow uh, if we need bicycles for making deliveries in the home. Sometimes we can borrow the bicycles and see if that uh, augments our sales. If it does, then we can go with confidence to, to make a loan. So saving, having a partner, borrowing, uh, when I was in business, sometimes I would rent a display case. If my business increased, I would buy it. But, I, but that way we can be certain that it uh, is going to increase our sales. Yes. Thank you, Brother Barton. Um, it's important to say that uh, Brother Barton established um, three small businesses and he has experience about it. Uh, he has a degree in business management, advanced degrees in educational psychology and, and educational communications. He established and founded um, these small businesses and has experiences about this. I would like to um, you explain us how or what was your experiences about your efforts to, with these small businesses. My experience is that the Lord can help us. That's the most important principle. He can also help us to decide if we should take a loan. Uh, I love the uh, scripture in 2 Nephi 32, verse uh, 40, uh, excuse me, it's the 34, verse 24. Cry unto the Lord over the flocks of your field, that they will increase. Cry unto him over the crops of your field, that you will prosper. I bear testimony that that is a true principle. I uh, remember a case in Africa 
<clears throat> the man's name is Kofi. He was a member of the church. He was a taxi driver. And uh, he didn't want to take out a huge loan to buy a taxi. He drove taxi for another person. And so he made his uh, salary that he paid himself very small. Yes. And he had to pay also the taxi owner a little bit of money. But he saved the rest. And he went to the bank every month and put in money. And he got a, quite a reputation at the bank. The time came when he wanted to buy his own taxi. He had saved quite a bit of money and the bank helped him with some additional. That's the true principle. Be careful in, in, in borrowing money. Save as much as you can to, uh, to, to make be part of it. Kofi then was driving his own taxi and he also continued to live on a small living allowance. And then he continued to put money in the bank and pay off the, the loan and pretty soon he had enough money for a second taxi. Eventually he had four taxis. His, he was prospering, his business was growing. He eventually sold the taxi business and bought some rental homes. He's uh, retired now and living off of the income from the, the rental homes. It's a real experience that he had to take, he had to take care of this uh, process to, to fulfill with the payments and and I think that it's a, it was a really great effort that he did to, to be sure. And this is the last question, Brother Martin, um, about uh, how can we ensure that we make the payments um, in, and before, even before uh, the due dates? That is a, a, a key question. And the answer is that we need to make a cash flow analysis. It's simply taking a piece of paper and making columns and uh, writing down what our anticipated income is going to be, and what our expenses are going to be, and what our net profit is, and then add in the payments at the bank or at the lending institution and see if we come out positively. If we do, maybe we should take the loan. If we, can, if we can't be positive after the loan payments, then we shouldn't take the loan. Yes. I remember one case of a flower shop owner in Argentina. She had her own shop. She was prospering, but she was very unwise in taking out a loan. She took the loan out from the scalpers. These are people who charge an enormous high interest rate. And uh, she was also unwise because she took out the loan for personal purposes, to take care of her personal needs. We shouldn't do that. And pretty soon, she lost her flower shop, and she still had to make the payments. Very unwise. So let's review the principles. The principles are that we should save money. Yes. The principle is that uh, if we're not sure whether the asset that we want to buy is going to augment our sales, increase our sales, then we should rent for a while or borrow for the bicycle or the a display case until we can see the results. The prophets have said that to get out of personal debt and that if that, that, that business loan is sometimes necessary but we should make sure that we can make the payments, make a cash flow analysis if possible if necessary and that uh, we, could, we should make sure that it uh, will increase our sales in our business by taking out the loan. And uh, finally I would like to add a little personal example if I could. Yes, really. I went to the uh, bank. I didn't have any money. I was starting a new business. But I could see that the supplier would sometimes offer discounts. And so I wanted to be able to take out a loan when he offered discounts and take advantage. I had that money ready to go and, and buy the inventory that I needed. And so I went to the bank and I took out a small loan and repaid it before the due date. And I took out another loan, a little bit larger, and paid it, repaid it before the due date. And did the same thing with the third loan, a little bit larger, and a fourth loan, a little bit larger. The time came when the, when the supplier offered the inventory at a much reduced rate. I was able to, on my signature, go get the loan and be able to buy the inventory. And I prospered because of making that plan in advance. 
was a good opportunity that you had. And it's, it's a, the same, uh, all we have to look for about the, these opportunities that is, it depends also about the things you said uh, that we um, have to ask, ask the Lord about help, the, the things we need. That's right. It's like uh, Nephi said, I went to the mountain often and the Lord tell, told me exactly what I needed to do next. The Lord is interested in the details of our lives and in our businesses. Have a wonderful time starting and growing your business. Thank you, brothers and Brother Barton. Thank you for being here. And you have strengthened us. Um, and I'm sure that all the people who is watching this video, and I invite the, the former students who are present at this time to make a plan about the, the things they have to do before borrowing 